Hey guys, welcome to me reacting to Game Theory Animal Crossing Scary Bunny Unzipped Animal Crossing New Horizons by the Game Theorists. Now, apparently this, yeah, because apparently the Easter event I think came out in April 1st and then went to Easter Day, I think. I think that's what happened. And there was this new bunny called Zipper, I think. I don't, I think... It was like Zipper, I think that's, that's what his name was, but I can't remember, like, I mean, I, I remember watching the Nintendo Mini uh, Direct, yeah, the Nintendo Direct Mini, where he was announced, and I think his name was Zipper, and there have been a lot that he, yeah, he is, so apparently a lot of Animal Crossing fans um, have, like, theories that he's, like, a fake bunny or he's not a real bunny he's like this person i don't know and it's mainly due to the fact that like uh, uh he can you know hide eggs literally anywhere or something like that i don't know i sadly don't have animal crossing new horizons even though i i actually do kind of want it because it does look like a really cool game but uh yeah anyways guys we're doing the description make sure to the game through saying so in the description always let's get right into it now oh no well, oh, no. skippity, skippity, hoppity ho! Now that you found me, I'll say a warm hello! I know what you're thinking. No, this is not a costume. And don't you go snooping, got it? Zippity zap a It's the man behind the slaughter. No. Zippity ho! What do you know? Bunny Day is April 12th. I oh, yeah, Bunny Day. Right on back to this island on yeah, the April 1st, April 12th. Day. In the meantime, Skipper, don't tell anyone you ran in the old zipper. It'll be a funny... Oh, yeah, his name is Zipper. Excuse me, but could you please stop staring at my back? It's rude. Won't find anything back there anyway. D stop looking back there. Glad you think this is funny, kid. Who is the voice actor for Last that? Morning. Fine, but don't say I didn't warn you. Have a funny bunny day. <laughs> Hello, Internet. Welcome to Game. The show Whoa! Unzip the bunny suit and ruin the magic. Today we're dipping Whoa, into a new what? franchise for the channel. What? Christine Waters <laughs> Animal Crossing. As that was so know, creepy. No <laughs> it was kind of Nintendo's funny. Nintendo's U.S. representatives even calls himself our surrogate uncle. Love you too, Uncle David. But I gotta admit, really? I'm a late comer to the Animal Crossing franchise. I don't know. It's just something about Same. the game. Same. Your primary objective is paying well, a home loan. It's a bit too real for me. I feel seen by this game but not in a good way i'm already grinding away in real life to try and get chase bank to stop looking over my shoulder and now you want now. a video game raccoon to do the same thing i only have two shoulders guys so if only i could get chase bank to accept ocean sunfish as a currency and a set but the newest release new horizons actually got me to change my nice. view with a bit more time on my hands i decided to give it a whirl and something about the game's cute aesthetic the island atmosphere the relaxed music it just hit all the right hey. chords it felt good to find routines and cross items off a short to-do list rather than the never-ending set of thankless tasks you mean uh required. time skip what? right you mean time why? jump why is it never a stable state when you own a house there's always something falling apart and apparently i wasn't the only one having those feelings since its release was the same day as doom hey the internet has yeah been eager to splice the likes of isabel and tom nook together with that of the doom slayer but the comparison may be more true than any of us realize yes. considering new horizons has been tearing through sales records like a well-armed marine ripping through heck beasts peacefully ripping through heck beasts or at least things were peaceful until easter Suddenly, yeah zipper islands were flooded with unwanted eggs clogging up their streams the trees even popping out of the rocks this marked when all of us first time players were introduced and all the veteran players were unfortunately reintroduced to the creepily mysterious zipper t bunny oh sure he might yeah look like just any other animal in this game world hey ronald zipper is hiding a secret well i mean he's not very good at hiding the secret considering he complains about it under his breath all the time and is literally named after that secret but still he is hiding it nonetheless oh T, our little easter bunny stand-in is someone hiding inside a rabbit costume where have i heard that one before fnaf yeah uh
Seriously, I should start an asylum for the criminally furry. Who knew <laughs> that half the programming on this gaming-related channel would be trying to expose people inside disturbing animal suits? Anyway, that again is exactly true. Well today. Despite Zipper's warnings of it ruining the magic, we're peeling back the mask to identify yet another creepy dude who's hiding inside a bunny costume. And it's the I man swear, behind if the this name winds up being William Afton, I am <laughs> I quit. I am done. Let's begin by looking at Zipper's history. Zipper T Bunnies first appearance was in Animal Crossing City Folk, before making a return appearance in New Leaf, with both appearances arousing plenty of suspicion from series fans. Showing up around Bunny Day, which is the Animal Crossing equivalent of Easter, Easter. Zipper is yeah. a bit of a trickster, always leading the player to hunt eggs for the promise of a prize that's never quite as fabulous as you would expect, and those eggs are a point of contention on their own, as Nintendo was Wait recently forced to update the game to make the ever-present eggs less annoying in people's gameplay. Wait, what? Justin from the news desk. Insane rabbit replaces entire ecosystem with eggs. I just want my wood again. Please. God, I just want my wood. Who is that voice he's actor? Everywhere. He's he's a maniac. I oh, that's like the eggs. They tasty. But today, we're not focused on the eggs excruciating gameplay of early April. We're instead focused on the man who's tormenting the town. Zipper is hardly the cheery mascot you might expect from someone pretending to be the Easter bunny. In fact, he spends a lot of time mumbling about how uncomfortable, hard, and boring it is being the bunny, outright saying things about how hot and sweaty it is inside the costume, or after a particularly cheesy line, things like, ugh, I can't believe I just said that. Zipper also likes to act like his costume is real, even pushing it to the point of correcting the game devs in New Leaf, where the description of Zipper's camp reads, quote, camping gives Zipper a chance to finally get out of that stuff Wait, old what? costume, and er, uh, we're being told in no uncertain terms that it is not a costume, end quote. If you try and look at the giant, obvious zipper on Mr. Bunny's back, he is not amused, saying things like, Excuse me, can you stop staring at my back? It's rude. You won't find anything back there anyway. Even his actions reflect how tired and- Oh, that's weird. Is. If he thinks that you're looking, zipper will hop around and act cheerful, but if he thinks that you're out of sight, he completely drops his act and starts shuffling around, sighing a lot. So that alone is pretty darn oh. weird, it's otherwise a very cheery, relaxing, mystery-free game. But what makes it strange? Stranger is the response that Zipper gets in universe from other characters. It'd be one thing if just us players thought he was weird, but even the other animals in our village find Zipper to be a bit off. We know from the way other villagers really? react to Zipper that he's not a normal part of the Animal Crossing world. They complain about him acting weird and refusing to acknowledge his own Zipper. What's more, when Zipper shows up, he brings with him this plague of eggs, and that's just not a gameplay impact. Other villagers actively point out how unusual it all is. So for the sake of really? everyone who... Oh, that's kind of cool. Cool. Zipper T Bunny. Well, I think I have the answer. Animal Crossing games tend to have themselves a fairly small cast of characters, so all we have to do is eliminate all the potential suspects until we're left with one. Popular fan theories on oh. the have identified Old Mayor Tortimer as a top candidate because of the T in Zipper T Bunny maybe standing for Tortimer, and the whole getting tired thing inside the suit angle would work really well for an old aging man. Others say that the T in his name might stand for Tom Nook. Still others think that Phyllis the Postal Worker Penguin might be behind the mask because she mutters under She's not a penguin. Hates her job just like Zipper does. Um, hold up. A postal worker who hates her job? Guys, we might have other reasons to be afraid of this character, to be honest. Is that a reference that anyone gets at this point? Wow, I feel old. In the 90s, there were multiple incidents of postal workers going crazy and lashing out with violence against other employees or the public, hence the term going postal. It even sparked a video game series classified as one of the most violent video games of all time. The more you know. Last major oh, wow. of fan theories is Hopkins because he's also a bunny who happens to share the same birthday as Zipper T. So that is a decent number of options for us oh. to check out. So I guess you're going to have to tune in for part two. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to get notified of when that video hits your sub boxes. Nope, not going to do it to you this time because honestly, we don't need to. Though, well, it's only been, hit that subscribe it's only button been right now, seven minutes. Community. Anyway, it's actually fairly easy to eliminate all But you do that a lot on right Film Fury. In one fell swoop. They're all able to be seen in proximity to Zipper. You know how well, there's a theory circulating the internet that I'm secretly Scott Cawthon because you've never seen us in the same room together. Wait, what? 
Well, the exact opposite works for Zipper. During Bunny Day events, Zipper can be found in the center of town, and pretty much every other character can be seen in proximity to him, or they're just working inside a building while the bunny man stands right outside. Even in a world where you can wave a magic wand and change your clothes, moving that fast just breaks reality. So if we throw some duplicating or teleporting magic out the window, which feels fair based on the rules of this game universe, the long and short of it is that Zipper isn't a villager that you or I know. But let me be clear, that doesn't mean that we don't know the true identity of Zipper T. Quite oh. Contrary, in fact. I think what? Zipper T Bunny is actually our father. I am your father. That might seem really random. <laughs> what? What? Explanation that makes any sort of sense. First, what? Your father is indeed a character in this game, albeit a minor one. While your mother will send you what? frequent letters throughout the Animal Crossing games, sometimes even including things like gifts, your father is a bit more distant. Originally, he would only send you a card on Father's Day, even admitting in those letters that he's not much of a writer as your mother. In his defense, it's really you. You actually have Father's Day, but still, recent games have seen him sending more letters. Letters, but still, he's a relative mystery. Oh, and uh, you way, here's what? I didn't even know you had a mother and father in the game. To send a red carnation. Now, carnations are known as the traditional flower of Mother's Day, and the rose, strangely enough, is the official flower of Father's Day. Here's the creepy part, though. Internationally, people wear roses on Father's Day: red if Dad is alive, and white if he's deceased. So basically, in Animal Crossing on Wait, Father's what? Day, your dear old Dad is sending you a flower to remind you that yes, he is still alive. Just watch out for the day that he sends you the white carnation. Yikes! But okay, what does any of this have to do with Zipper? What? Bunny? Nothing, at least in English. But for the real answer, we again have oh. to internationally. Obviously, Zipper Bunny in English is just a play on the fact that he's a man in a costume. And this is true for lots of his other international names as well. Except Most for... Some version of Zipper or Bounce. But a few of them really stand out as being particularly interesting. In Germany, they drop the whole pretense of Bunny Day altogether and just call Zipper Ostihas, or a pun on the German translation of Easter hair. In Japanese, notably oh. the native language for the core Animal Crossing yeah. team, Zipper's name is Pion Taru, which is something of a portmanteau of Pion, roughly the Japanese equivalent of Boing, and Taru, which is a suffix for a Japanese boy's name. Specifically, so Boing Boy? First son, at least in the ancient tradition. In other words, oh, Japanese so Boing Boy? Boing Son? Boing boy. Yeah, Boing Boy. The fact that villagers are using male pronouns can help us determine that Zipper is most likely a male, but hold on to that whole first son thing. We're gonna get back to that in a second. Things start to get even more okay. interesting when you get to his Italian translation, Ovidio. In Italian, the word uovo is egg, which is kinda close to Ovidio, but still, it's a pretty far departure. Ovidio is also unusual considering that it's the actual Italian name for Ovid, an ancient Roman poet known for his epic work, The Metamorphoses, which is a bunch of myths chronicling the creation of the world up until the death of Julius Caesar. It was a hugely influential literary work, inspiring famous authors like Dante, Chaucer, Shakespeare. Oh. My wife Stephanie, who was a classics major, assures me that this was funny uh, because of the grammar in it or something. I am skeptical, to say the least. Anyway, as the name implies, the whole thing is about transformation. Yeah. Ovid specifically saying that transformation in the world comes about via either violence or love. Ovid himself was eventually exiled from Rome by the Emperor for reasons still unclear. In Ovid's own words, it was a poem and a mistake. A crime worse than murder, more harmful than poetry. Seems really random, right? But the themes of exile, as well as the themes of fathers and sons, continue in other international translations of Zipper T's name. Wait, what? the Korean name. It looks like this, and it translates to the word Tobit. I initially thought that this might be a play on the word rabbit or bunny in Korean, which looks a lot like this. Notice that the first character is exactly the same, but that reads as Taki. Now, I could be barking up the wrong tree here, but the oh. The translation of Tobit in English is really fascinating. You see, the Book of Tobit is a Roman Catholic text that tells the story of an exiled man named Tobit and his son Tobias. And I was a professional twice over, an analyst and a therapist. But what does the Tobit mean in Uh, Not that Tobias. Tobit was exiled for his debt, and it was up to his son Tobias to get money for his oh, yeah. and pay off that debt. Now, I'll admit that a lot about this story doesn't really line up. For one thing, Tobit was blinded by bird poop, and I'm pretty 
sure that's not a part of Zipper's backstory. But it is still very interesting that the developers chose to go with this name in Korean. While almost every other name is a transparent play on words or an onomatopoeia, this one is a very specific yeah. obscure reference. It's about a man in exile because of debt and the son who goes out into the world to pay back what his father owes. In Animal Crossing, a story you pay of back. going out into the world and immediately being put into debt and having to earn his way out of that debt, it's a weird coincidence, wouldn't you say? Couple that with the Italian name Ovidio, potentially a reference to Ovid, another exiled man. Well, what does Ovidio mean? It's implications of tying back to a firstborn son, and you have yourself a case to be made that Zipper is a father in exile for his debt. I mean, think about this. You are the only human in this game. You're Parents are presumably humans too, but you never see them. So to blend in with the village of animals, they would need a suit of some sort. So oh. A bunny suit. And if you've just been exiled from a civilization for your debt, that would increase your need to hide your true identity. When you first meet Zipper out in the wilderness, he seems to only want to talk to you at first. He specifically asks you not to tell anyone else that you talk to him, as though he's afraid of being found out or that his secret of hiding the eggs is going to be discovered. Now, I'll admit that this sounds crazy. Creepy. And kids, if a man in a bunny suit asks you to not tell anyone about him, please, please tell someone trustworthy about it. But at least in the game, <sighs> all of Zipper's efforts seem directed to help you out. No one else is out there collecting the eggs. So who is he hiding them for? You. And the fact that the village thinks it's weird seems to indicate that this isn't a regular occurrence or some yearly tradition that they were familiar with until you arrived. It's because yeah. you are here now. He's here hiding eggs for you and not anyone else. I mean... What in-universe character would care so much about you as to show up to your island every year just to hide eggs, furniture, even money to keep you entertained on Bunny Day, other than your own parents? And here's the thing, Animal Crossing is a Japanese game. You wait, true! Culture, fathers are almost required to be distant from their children. Studies of parenting in Japan show that many fathers feel like outsiders in their own homes because so much emphasis is placed on the economics of the household, how much that household earns, and how much of your life you have to devote to the company. Fathers, as a result, are always away from the house. They're always working. They're leaving most of the parenting to the mother. There's even a phrase for this in the Japanese language, chichioya fuzai, roughly meaning that the father is missing in action. It makes the relationship between father and child stunted in many families, with oh. struggling to express themselves. It's probably why your dad in the game has so much trouble actually writing you letters. Couple that with all the references to fathers and exile, and the fact that no other other character we see in the game so I guess we be zipper without the power of magical teleportation and I think zipper T might just be your father trying to show his affection through other methods not writing but doing not himself but as a character sweating away in a miserable rabbit outfit who else would try so hard to keep the illusion of the Easter Bunny alive and hide presents in trees specifically for you who else would then take your those parents? same worthless well yeah that you just found and trade them in for more and more recipes and gifts I mean he's He's not entirely good at it. He's kind of awkward, and a lot of times it feels like more work than it's actually worth. But he does frequently refer to you as kid, and he does want to keep the magic alive for you. So, the way that I see it, the mystery of Zipper T Bunny is <laughs> either one of two things. Either it's one, your father doing his best to express his love for you in the way that only he okay. can, or two, he's a really weird, dangerous stalker hiding out in the woods in a bright colored cartoon game for children waiting to murder you. But hey. So, um, yeah, honestly, it's that's not a bad theory because I well I didn't even know that you had a father and mother in Animal Crossing I didn't even know you had that like at all I just didn't know that but um yeah this was a pretty decent theory I'd say because you know it's just a theory like there's there's evidence to prove that it could be true but there's also you know like it's just a theory honestly but but, uh, yeah, anyways, guys, I'm Julie, like, and you just got my channel. See you in the next one. Bye!